Mark chapter 12. He began to speak unto them by parables, saying, A certain man, certain, not name, but in somebody of a reputation, somebody mentioned, planted a vineyard, set a hedge about it, and digged a place for the wine fat, and built a tower. He let it out to husband and went into a far country. As plain and simple. Isaiah. This is where we're going to be going to different Bible verses tonight. On the King James Bible. Isaiah chapter 5. Verse 1. We're going to do a scripture with scripture. We don't do one whole chapter one night and say, Look, look at all the great information we missed. Now will I sing to my beloved, a song of my beloved, touching his vineyard. And the beloved is God, Jehovah. See that? I'm trying to fix my oxygen. Is Jehovah being praised and honored by his people. My beloved has a vineyard. Match that with Mark. You also find it in Luke and Matthew, but my vineyard, my beloved has a vineyard in a very fruitful hill. Jerusalem is a hill. And he fenced it. He gathered out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vine. Israel. Israel's like it to the vine. Those, those stones is it's like New England. You go to New England and you see everywhere stone walls. You say, where did they get those stones to the stone wall? Digging the ground to, to plant the harvest. The ground grows stones. I swear. Every year we had a garden. Every year, as much as we cleaned that garden, we'd be picking out stones. Must be the same in Jerusalem. So he, he gathers the stones, he builds a, a wall. He plants the choicest vine, the children of Israel. They were to take out the weeds, the, 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 the Canaanites, but they didn't. You don't ever leave weeds. They're going to overpower. A choice vine is... The Jews. The vineyard is Jerusalem. The beloved, the certain man, is Jehovah God. Listen as we read into what we'll look at. He built a tower in the midst of it, protection. In the midst of Jerusalem is the temple. The high erect building. All gold. I can imagine how that place would have shined with the new day sun. You look at Jerusalem today, you see that golden dumb of the rock. You would have looked at Jerusalem back then, you would see an entire golden building. A light set up on a hill is Jerusalem. I know the church is stolen it, but also made a wine press therein. He looked that it should bring forth grapes. Well, you expect, yeah. And it brought forth wild grapes. You don't want wild grapes. I know. My neighbor's house, when I was a little boy growing up, it had, it had the grapevine, and they grew everywhere. And they smelled great. And they looked great. And you would think every year you pick some grapes, you eat it, and you couldn't stand it. They were bitter. And now, O heavens of Jerusalem. See? The Bible is self-explanatory. Men of Judah. Judge, I pray. Oh, look at judge. People say judge not. God says judge. I pray you betwixt me and my vineyard. What could I have done more 
to my vineyard that I have not done in it. Wherefore, when I looked for it should bring forth grapes, it brought forth flowers. What more could I do, God says? I expected, and I did not get the return I wanted to. Wherefore, by their fruits you should know them. Wild grapes. The entire nation, the, the, the vineyard is going wild and crazy. Like the world is today. Now go to, I will tell you what I'll do to my vineyard. I will take away the hedge thereof, and shall be eaten up, break down the wall there, and shall be trodden down. Well, it's done by Babylon, and it's done by Titus in 70 AD. I will lay it waste, it shall not be pruned, and nor day. Neither shall come up briars and thorns. Uh, I mean, there shall come up briars and thorns. Weeds. Muslims, Catholics, Arabians, professing Christians, and we got to go see the Holy Land. And we allow the Catholics and the Arabians to tell us about the Holy Land. Really? <laughs> You're going to ask non Bible believers. Don't even believe in the Bible. Don't even believe in Jesus. I also will command the clouds and the rain no and the rain no rain upon it. That's the tribulation. For the vineyard of the Lord, that's Jehovah the host, is the house of Israel. Got it? Self explanatory. The men of Judah is pleasant plan. Self divines, the plans, Judah, Jews. He looked for judgment, behold oppression, for righteousness, nor but they behold a cry. Back to Mark 6 12. Oh, wait a minute, one more place. Let's, let's do it now. Psalms 80. Sorry about that. Psalms 80. Scripture with Scripture. Psalms 80. I'm trying to read my other glasses here. It's hard. Psalms 80, verse 15. And the vineyard which thy right hand has planted. The right hand of God is Jesus Christ. And the branch that thou mayest strong for thyself. Okay, back to Mark. 12. He began to speak unto them in parables of certain men of each Jehovah. Planted a vineyard, Jerusalem, set a hedge about it, there's the rocks, and dig the place for the wine fat, and built the tower, the wine fat is the fruit of the, the, the built the tower for protection, the temple, and let it out to husbandmen. There's the nation of Israel. Take care of my land, take care of my place. And went to a far country. Now, God warns them in the law, that is his land. It's not to be so. It's not to be. It's his land. His eyes look to that land. At the season, he sent to the husbandman a servant. These would be the prophets. These would be the men that God sent throughout the Old Testament, whether we they're named in the Old Testament or they're unnamed. God sent prophets. God sent men. God sent Samuel. God sent Nathan. God sent Elijah. God sent Elijah. God sent Habakkuk. God sent his men. Isaiah. That he might receive from the husband the fruit of the vineyard. So in the land, God sent, okay, he sends men. He says, okay. Bring forth. What do you have for me? And they had certain seasons, certain festivals, certain times. They were to bring the tithes in. And when we talk about tithes, it was tithes of everything. You had to tithe your cows. You had to tithe your sheep. You had to tithe your goats. You had to tie your your, your the, 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 the fleece. 
You have to tithe your money. You have to tithe the apples. You had to tithe the puppies. You had to tithe, tithe, tithe everything. But your preacher doesn't preach about that. You would approach the temple as males three times a year. And your hands were not to be empty. And God would send men say, listen, we're coming up to the time. We're coming up to the festival. Be ready. Get ready. One of the kings, I forget which one, he said, listen, we're going to do the Passover. Send the mail out. Send the post out. And they ridiculed. They mocked. They had no disregard. And they caught him. And beat him. And sent him away empty. That's not setting fruit. Again, he said unto them another servant. And him they cast. Now watch how it gets harsher and harsher. And you can read these stories in the Old Testament. You can read these stories in Hebrews. You can read in <laughs> Hebrews these men. Since another servant at him, they cast stones. That was the corporate punishment. That was a capital punishment for crimes against the law serious. That there were no offerings. There was adultery. It was bringing in false worship. It was bringing in witchcraft and all that. Harry Potter. They brought in Jehovah. They brought in the demands of Jehovah and they treated him like an outcast. They treated him like a, a, a civil criminal. And yet they let the, the murderers live. They let the adulterers live. They let the witchcraft live. They let the, the adoration of the queen of heaven live, Jeremiah. But God's people, they beat. God's people, they stoned. And wounded him in the head. The Antichrist is going to get a wound. Sent him away, shamefully handled. So the first one they send away empty. The second one they send back, he's all beaten up. He's bruised and tattered. You're also going to see this in the tribulation period. As the Antichrist chases the 144,000, they're going to be beaten. They're going to be beheaded. Again, he sent another. Him they killed. And many others. Go through all the prophets. Named and unnamed. Known and unknown in the scriptures. Beating some. And killing some. And this is even addressed in the scriptures. And addressed by, by Jesus to say. Your fathers. Have killed the prophets. The men of God. And here are their sepulchers. And you dress the sepulchers. And make them look all fine and great. Having yet therefore one son. Well, who is that? That's Jesus Christ. His well beloved sent him also last unto them, saying, The last would be, here comes the end of the Old Testament. Because God, you can't say God's not going to send anybody else out there. Land Ryan's going to send 144,000. During the church age, he sends Christians after them. In the book of Acts, he sent the disciples. He sent the apostles. He sends the church converts. They didn't, sung, they didn't say, come to our church. They said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That Jesus... That you heard that was killed and rose again in Jerusalem outside. Let me tell you about it. They will reverence my son. 
But those husbandmen among themselves. This is the hair. He is. Jesus. Come, let us come. All right, so who's the husbandman? Who, who's the husbandman, Ben and Mark and Matthew? Who's the ones talking and saying, we need to get rid of him? We need to destroy him. We need to get rid of him. We're tired of him. we we got to kill him. we got to... The Pharisees, the scribes, the high priests, Wait a the high priests are in that temple. The scribes are in that temple. The Pharisees are in that temple. I'm not sure about the Sadducees. So far, everybody has been in that temple service. And the inheritance shall be ours. So if we kill Jesus, it's ours. So not only for envy, but for prosperity, they killed Jesus. And they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard. Hebrews 13. Anybody that says Jesus died in Jerusalem is a false prophet. So I've never been there. I don't know anything about it. They'll bring you to a place that this is Golgotha and all that. This is a place where Jesus died. My question is, where is it? Is it in Jerusalem? Or wherefore Jesus, Hebrews 13, 12, also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, Suffered without the gate. That gate is the gate of Jerusalem. Jesus did not die in Jerusalem. They removed him out of Jerusalem. Back to Mark. Mark chapter 9 or 8. And they took him and killed him. On the cross and cast them out of the vineyard. Scripture, scripture lines up. What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? What shall God Jehovah do? Look, he's a Lord. He's a certain man. He's the owner of the vineyard. That's Jehovah. He will come. And destroy the husband. Is Jesus God? Does God come and destroy this at the second advent? Or does Jesus come at the second advent? God comes, but it's Jesus. The owner of the vineyard, we've been told with Isaiah, is Jehovah. We read it. He's the owner of the vineyard, Mark 12. He gets angry. At the death of his son, and he comes down with judgment against those, against him and his son, and it says he will come down and destroy. But yet it's Jesus that comes down. Jesus is God, and God is Jesus. And he'll give his vineyard unto others. The Muslims are there. The city was destroyed 70 AD. Have you not read the scripture? Oh, look at Jesus. Have you not read the scripture? You know a lot, of, a lot of Christians, they don't read the scripture. You know a lot of Baptists, they don't read the scripture. You know a lot of uh, uh, Sunday school, I know one school, I got one right now, he doesn't read the scripture. You know what they got now? And it was played out in Germany. 
this AI artificial intelligence was on a television screen as a colored man and preached to a whole congregation of one religion and they all sat there and listened to him. You know that scene come out now? Because listen, I'm a doctor of theology. I get these links because of my searches, because of who I am. I get these links. You can have an AI write your outline. You don't need to study no more. Go to this AI program, put what you want, and it will build a program and outline for you. And there are churches right now, it's set up, you can have that AI on a screen, because church has got the screen, and that AI can preach to your congregation. Man, I thought it was weird last year. Last year, 2022. They were making these artificial robotic women that you could marry and even have sexual incourse. And she will be your wife and you will be her husband. I thought that was weird. But you got the AI on the television screens coming now into the churches. Brother, the next big step is the Antichrist. And I'm wondering, and I'm not going to start anything new, but just let me throw out my pea brain. I wonder if A of AI has to do with Antichrist, but that's that's nothing to be proven. That's what I've been thinking. Of. Have you not read the scriptures? No, you can't say you're a King James Bible believer and you haven't read your Bible. A King James Bible believer does no good if you never removed the cell phone. A King James Bible believer is you never removed it out of the box. A King James Bible believer does no good if he doesn't have no Bible. Imagine giving a gift of a Bible to someone and they're never going to open it up. Where there are hundreds, if not maybe thousands, of people in China, third world nations, you know, hop up and skip up and down and sing praise of glory to God of their heart if they were to have a Bible. America, you got a lot to be judged. Have you not read this scripture, the stone which the builders reject has become the head of the corner. The stone is the rock. Paul said that that rock that followed him is Jesus. And it's funny because the stone which the builders rejected become the head of the corner. That would be a pyramid. This was the Lord's doing, God's doing, Jehovah's doing, and it was marvelous in their eyes. This is Jesus. As he's forth with this parable to the people. Because they know Isaiah. They know Psalms. And they sought to lay hands and lay hold on him. There's the parable. But they feared the people for they knew that he had spoken the parable against them. They know what that parable means. They know who the husbandmen are. It's them. We know who the son is. It's Jesus. We know who the servants are. They're the past prophets. And they left him and went their way. Now, back to Hebrews 11. I think we've done this before many times. Hebrews 11.
verse 32. Hebrews 11, 32. What shall I more say? For the time should fail to tell Gideon, Abarik, Samson. See, Samson makes the list. Can a man who commits suicide, will he go to heaven? There's Samson. Can a man have a lustful flesh of women? <laughs> There's Samson. Samson broke the law. He took the honey out of the dead animal. Of Jesus, of David also. <laughs> Look, David wasn't even mentioned in Hebrew. Love Samuel, and of the prophets. We're not going to name them all. Mark chapter 12, we're not going to name them all. Okay, now let's look at Mark chapter 12. I mean, stay here. But look at Mark chapter 12. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, brought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lion. All right, this is the servants that God has sent. Quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edges. So, oh, here we go. Out of weakness were made strong, waxed little light, turned the flight of the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain better resurrection. Others had the trial of cruel mockings and scornings, that's being beaten. Yeah, more of the bonds and imprisonment. These are the servants of God. This is not the New Testament. Hebrews is written bef before the New Testament even starts off. I mean, I know it's the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus, but these men and women are talking about the old. They were stoned, Mark chapter 12. They were sawed asunder. They say that's Isaiah. Were tempted, were slain with a sword. Mark chapter 12. They wandered about in sheepskins, goatskins, having been destitute, afflicted, and tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, having obtained a good report through faith, <laughs> Jesus said, These men came and told you. These men came as a guidance, and you mistreated them. You murdered them. You injured them. It's all laid out. 